Derby County come away from that game with Portsmouth with absolute delight in my opinion. I predicted before the game that it would be a 1-1, not really a game for the neutral and I think that is what we saw. Obviously we came away with a 2-2 draw, both sides picking up some very, very nice goals. Joe Ward would be delighted to get on the score sheet twice for Derby County tonight and uh, do you know, I mentioned his name before the game, Abu Kamara. He's a really, really good player. Sibley did really well on him tonight. There was just a little bit of a lapse of concentration between Sibley, Cashin and Nelson, which let him in on goal for their first goal. Obviously, I think there was a bit of a hint of offside in the build-up to it, but we'll let that go. And then in the second for Portsmouth, I personally, from watching it, I think it was a handball. You'll have to let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Now, I come away from this game happy as Larry. I wanted a point from the game because I think we have, out of everybody else, I think our next four games are like the nicest. Obviously, that doesn't mean you're going to come away with all three points. It doesn't mean you're going to end up getting promoted. But we've got four games to go and we're four points ahead of Bolton Wanderers. Obviously, If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below or in this top corner over here. It's really important that you subscribe to the channel. We're trying to hit 500 subscribers by the end of this season. And at the end of April, we can do it. So make sure you hit that subscribe button down below or in whichever corner it's in, just click that button. Get it clicked right now. Obviously, Bolton do have that game in hand, but they do have to play Portsmouth at home and Posh at home. I think they're both at home. Could be wrong on that. Now, obviously, for Derby County, the best result that we could get from those games is Bolton drawing both of them. Obviously, we need Derby to pick up all three points in their games too. So, for me, very happy with this result. I think Paul Warren, obviously, very disappointed to go up twice and then draw the game. Obviously, reminded me a bit of the Peterborough game where we went up twice, but realistically, we was never actually in the game. Now, tonight, I thought we was definitely in this game. And to be completely honest with you, not coming away with three points is quite disappointing but it's not something which I think is massively effectual to the league because for me, Portsmouth, I'm not going to say the best team we've played because I think Peterborough take that mantle. Uh, I think they were outstanding on New Year's Day. But tonight, I think Portsmouth, they just didn't run out of ideas, maybe. I think that's the right way to put it. Um, Kamara did, couldn't really get the better of Sibley. Uh, Derby had their chances on the counter. I think Corey Blackett-Taylor has really come of age in the past couple of games. I thought he was excellent against uh, Blackpool. I think he's been excellent tonight. And I think it's massively important that he has. Obviously, tonight he picked up an assist for Joe Ward's first and then Joe Ward's second. Now, we massive, massive deflection, but we absolutely do take those. And Joe Ward would be delighted to walk away with two goals today. I think... That's his first two goals in a Derby shirt, which is brilliant. Get him at this point of the season. Get him in red-hot form. Now, it did blow up after about 70, 75 minutes, I think it was, where he came off. Um, so, hopefully, he'll be okay. Obviously, there is a 10-day rest period now before Derby head to Adams Park to face Wickham Wanderers. That is going to be an absolutely massive game. Obviously, everybody else, apart from Peterborough and Wickham, play at the weekend. So it's going to be a nervy Saturday, in my opinion. Obviously, if Bolton come away with all three points from their game with Bristol Rovers, it makes it a very, very difficult day. But obviously, Derby have the opportunity to rectify that when we go to Adams Park. So it, for me, very happy with the performance tonight. I do think at times in the second half, we sat a bit too deep. Their second goal, obviously a screamer from Owen Moxon. Could Joe Wildsmith have done a little bit better? Maybe, maybe not. You'll have to let me know what you think about that down in the comments. I thought I thought it was a really good strike. And I think there was a lot of sort of movement on the ball. It was sort of, I think the weather conditions really affected that goal, obviously. But Joe Ward, his first goal, like you'd think he'd scored 20 goals this season with how like calm and collected he was taking that on first time as well. So don't forget, he was absolutely poor. He was very poor, like a few months ago just wasn't quite good enough in my opinion and struggled to get in the side but with the injury to Ryan Niambi and then obviously the injuries to Dwight Gale and Tom Barkays and he's really found himself a place in the Derby side on that right hand side I think he's done absolutely excellent since returning to the side he and Corey Blackett-Taylor brilliant I think 
Nathaniel Mendes Lang through the middle, someone needs to have a conversation with Paul Warren because that just isn't working. I don't think he was very good tonight. I don't think he was great on the weekend. Uh, but obviously, coming away with the points is what matters. We've had four points out of the last two, and I absolutely would have taken that. If you'd have said that to me on Friday morning, you're going to take four points from Blackpool and Portsmouth. I'd have absolutely took your hand off with that. Now, obviously, it's going to be a very interesting final four games to Derby County. We had to Adams Park next. Then I believe it's Leighton Orient. No, then I believe it's Cambridge, then Leighton Orient, then Carlisle at home. Maybe Leighton Orient and Cambridge are the other way around. But it's going to be... A, it's going to be nervy. It really is going to be nervy. I still got money on the fact that we get promoted at uh, Cambridge. Still think that will be the case. You'll have to let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Obviously, a lot could change over the next 10 days. Obviously, with Bolton playing at the weekend and we don't, it's going to be really interesting to see how that result plays out for Bolton. Obviously, they'll know that they need to get a result to keep piling on the pressure to us. But I think we'll be very happy with how tonight went. Very happy with looking at the league table, obviously. So long as we can keep that four-point gap, then Bolton's game in hand is completely ineffective. Uh, makes absolutely no difference, really. We still stay second, whatever their result that day. But the big question is going to be, do you think we can do it? I am confident that we have the ability. Am I confident we'll get it over the line? I'm, I'm sort of 50-50 at the minute. It's very, very difficult. I do think if it is going to be done, it's got to be Cambridge. If it goes down to the final day, like I do not want the nerves sitting in that stand at Carlisle. Well, at home to Carlisle, it's going to be very, very difficult. Obviously, let me know your thoughts about the game down in the comments. I thought Cashin and Nelson, apart from the first goal, I thought they were really, really good. Um, Kane Wilson, really good on the right-hand side. Sibley, again, excellent on the left. Midfield two of Smith and Ebo Adams has been outstanding in the past two games. Seems to have created like a, a box six in midfield um, over the past two games with uh, Ward and Blackett Taylor coming really narrow. Nat and uh, Collo dropping in with obviously Adams and Smith behind. I think it's looked really, really effective. I really like the way it's set up. Obviously... I do have one big disappointment, though. For the goal, I think Collins just let Moxon turn a little bit too easily. Uh, I think he could have done a lot more to stop that from, obviously, being a strike at goal. I think it was just one of those where it was a proper sort of forwards tackle. Oh, there'll be a midfielder to close him down or there'll be a defender to close him down. And for me, it just wasn't the right time to have that sort of outlook, let's say. Um, so, for me, a bit disappointed with that, but... We, we can move on from that. I'll give Collins the benefit of the doubt. I said I'd be happy with a point at the start of the night and I am happy coming away with a point. Would have been nice to have all three, to have that bigger cushion to Bolton, but the next four games are the pivotal ones. For me, I think we need eight points. I think if we get 90, then I think we're up. I think we're done and hopefully we can win the next three, I think it would be, uh, and that would put us promoted. Because obviously, if we win the next three, I don't think Bolton will be. I don't even think they'll be anywhere near us. I think it'll still be four points, which going into the final day will be four points gap. Now, obviously, very very good game tonight. Obviously, possessional side of things, we aren't really that sort of team. But I think we did well defensively. I think you can all agree with that. Hopefully, anyway. Um, but. Paul Warren has got a big job on his hands, getting these players back ready and fit for Wickham. Hopefully, we can have like maybe maybe just a, a snippet of Max Bird or Tom Barkays and maybe a Dwight Gale on the bench heading into this game. Um, it's going to be really, really important to get those players back for this final four games now. I know it's only four games. There's 12 points on the line. We're four points clear. For me, eight points does it. Eight points does it for us. It leaves Bolton having to win every single game. Um, so, yeah, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. While you're down there, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you in the next video. Make sure to go and find me on TikTok, pictured here, and Twitter, pictured here. These are the places where I'll keep you all up to date with all my upcoming videos and my thoughts and feelings around the Formula One and football weekend.